Let me show you how to achieve super sleek hair, maximum shine, but not having the hair too flat to the head. The looks can have a deep side parting to give a very chic, very edgy look and a long fall of hair through this side. We're going to apply a heat protectant spray to the hair to protect the hair from the heat of the hairdryer. In this case, Sassoon Heat Shape. Make sure that you apply the product evenly throughout the hair, making sure that all the hair lines are evenly covered. So we want a really deep side parting to this look. To find a natural parting, just comb the hair back onto the crown and then push the hair forward and naturally the hair will want to break in its natural parting. Start by removing about 80% of the moisture from the hair. We don't want the hair to be too wet when we start to really polish the hair with the finishing brush. So I'm going to dry the root area off and most of the water out of the, of the hair before we really give the hair the polish and shine. So when we're drying the roots off, I wouldn't use the nozzle because you need the, the air of the hairdryer distributed really on a wider basis. When we go through to smooth the hair through, we'll put the nozzle back onto the dryer because we'll have a little bit more intensity in the heat. And it's the heat that closes the cuticle and gives the hair the shine. dried the roots off, giving it just a little bit of bounce at the roots and now we're going to go through and really give it a lot of shine and a lot of polish. It's important to start blow drying from the underneath to the top so section away the underneath section, use a big clip or an elastic or a scrunchie to keep the hair out of the way. So the key to a really shiny blow dry is to make sure that the air is going from the roots to the ends of the hair. And what that will do is it will flatten out the cuticle and it will give it lots of reflective surface and make it have lots and lots of shine. Also now we've put the nozzle on the hair dryer so that we get much more of an intense amount of heat working down the hair. It's the heat that will change the hair and make the hair shiny. So having the intensity will really help you. So a good tip is to make sure you blow dry the hair horizontally out from the head because that will give it a natural amount of lift at the root but still maintain this really high shine. Really important to choose a brush that has a bristle in it because the bristle really gives the hair tension and pulls the hair really straight. Another tip, if you've got really coarse unruly hair Place the hair between your fingers and you can actually pull the hair really smooth because that's the most tension you can get on the hair. So when you finish blow drying a section, just lay the hair over the top of the previous section to let it cool down and set the look in. We're going to blow dry the front sections all forward so that when we push the hair off the face, it will give that natural lift. completed the uh, smooth, really shiny, silky blow dry. Um, I'm just going to lock the blow dry in with some spray shine by Sassoon and that will just really lock in 
and stop the moisture getting back into the hair because it's the moisture that will destroy your blow dry. So here we have our sleek, smooth, shiny blow dry with a low side parting and this beautiful fall of hair around the face.